What's good, team exclusive, and welcome back to some more FIFA 21 content. Today, uh, of course, we are back on the Euro Road to Glory. A few things before I jump over to our, our actual Euro Road to Glory stuff. Um, there is obviously a few objectives that I wanted to kind of go through. Um, one, we did the Christian Eriksen. I mean, like, we all saw kind of, well, if you saw the match, or even if you heard the news afterwards of what happened to him, um, it's it, heartbreaking, heartbreaking stuff. So, um, yeah, I wanted to complete his card. Just in the off chance that Denmark do, you know, do bits and, um, I don't know, maybe a bit of out of respect for him. I don't really know what you can do at this point. Um, it's it's tragic. It really is. And it was uh, it was it, it was heartbreaking to see what happened. But I, I completed this card anyway. And if Denmark do bits, he could have a, a really sensational card anyway. Um, but we'll have to wait and see for that. So, yeah, sad, sad stuff. Um, the other thing was the milestones. We actually finally got some milestones for once. And I'm big props to EA, but this is the kind of stuff I want from like the beginning of the game. So hopefully, you know, on FIFA 22, you might get this stuff like at the beginning because it was so good. So much fun. Um, admittedly, a lot of it, some of it was squad battles. Uh, England, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, Portugal, all the top kind of top nine nations were uh, squad battles, which isn't terrible. You know, it's semi-pro. Or you could do it rivals, I suppose. So, you know, I was just, you know, it, whatever's easiest, basically. So it, it's not bad. Really not bad at all. Um, I love that kind of concept where you just play with a certain nation. You score some goals and you get some packs. If there was just more of this just continuously, you know, maybe like level. So level one is score 20 with Portugal and you get this pack in level two and so forth and so on. You know, there could be improvements there. But regardless, really easy to grind. You know, after you complete the top nine, you just basically build a full team of whatever nations are left. And you go into beginner or, you know, if you wanted to do it in rivals, do it in that. Uh, I did it in beginner of squad battles and did it like three games. Uh, really not very difficult at all to complete those. And you get some nice pack rewards. Same with Asia. Really good stuff. Really, really good stuff. So big props to EA for this. Uh, I, I thought it was really enjoyable. And obviously I'm looking forward to the, uh, uh, the South America, the Americas and... Maybe they do like rest of the world. I, I don't know, to be honest, if they are going to do all of that. But they might just do Europe because it's obviously the Euros. Um, what are you doing? Have they got a tournament? I don't know. I know the, the uh, Copper America is going on, so they might do something regarding those. But yeah, either way, good, good stuff. Um, and open the packs and they were tragic. There was nothing in them. So yeah, it is. It is what it is. Either way, let's jump over to a few things have. Um, so obviously this is. You know, welcome to the Euro. Is <laughs> welcome to our Euro game mode. Um, a few things have changed. Obviously, England played Croatia, and let's go big ups to England. As you can see up there, one 0 We got we got the dub. Uh, I didn't see the game, um, but I did try and catch along with uh, some you know highlights and stuff like that. And I don't think it was the greatest game in the world, but we we came out on top. We got a really good goal from. Um, uh, was it Calvin Phillips who gave the assist through to Sterling with a really nice finish to obviously get the goal and get us the uh, the three points to the, the victory in the end. So it is, it is what matters, you know. It doesn't matter how many goals you score. would have been nice if we scored some more because, as you can see, we've got eight points up top, um, which we can use to buy some players. Now, the store has changed. Obviously, every episode, we've got a new uh, episodic store page. So these are the ones all randomized as well. Um, every player here is randomized. Phil Foden is seven points. Um, I would have wanted to put his uh, FOF path to glory, but uh, it's like 1.5 million. You think I can afford that? It's fucking crazy. Anyway, we've also got Harry Kane, three points for a rare gold. I mean, if anything, I probably would have rather Mason Mount. We've also got Steven Gerrard uh, with 12 points. A bit out of our reach, but then we've got uh, Jamie Vardy, who of course is unfortunately retired from international duty but it's coming at nine points i wouldn't mind that at all so we are rocking with eight and i think it'll be stupid to say we wouldn't at least finish with nine so i think i'm going to hold out and probably pick up that jamie vardy i actually tried to press b and exit the store am i am i dumb uh possibly anyway let's go to our objectives so these are the objectives uh, obviously uh, we were doing the Aaron wan one last time or working towards it. Um, I changed up the score hat-trick with Nketiah just to score with any English player because I found it really difficult to score with just Nketiah. Um, I, I got two goals with uh, Smith Rowe. So I was like, you know, why not just put it any? You know, it doesn't really matter, does it? So as you can see, we've completed the first two. Got to win at least one game. Fingers crossed. I mean, come on, we've got to win at least one. Surely at some point, got to come up against a stinker. And, uh, and finally win a game and then, yeah, score a hat-trick. Shouldn't be 
too difficult. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all that's changed so far. I do want to include stuff like EA are doing, like milestones with national uh, national players, so maybe like an England national thing would be quite cool. Either way, if you aren't familiar with the series, um, I should actually, before I do anything, if you aren't familiar with the series, this is the rules. Um, this is how we got the eight points as well, because England did get a goal and they won a game. Obviously, if they got more goals, we would have got more points. But still, you know, dub is a dub, isn't it? And obviously, all these correlate to any player in the team. So if we score... Uh, assist, hat-tricks, you know, three points, two, one, wins. Uh, we still got a point for losing, so this is why it isn't too important. And obviously you can see there in the way of upgrades, what kind of points correlate to what kind of card we can actually get. So if we get six points, we can get, say, Messi Lingard, or we can get Joe Willock. Even though they're different ratings, they're still the same card type, so it doesn't really matter. Same with go uh, gold rares that can go from, like, you know, 75 to, like, well, like, 92 um not for english obviously but you know so it doesn't matter the rating just matters the card type and yeah so pretty standard stuff either way there we go and there's the team so pickford in goal with our new additions obviously pickford last time with tamori and pearson in the midfield the team rest of the team is obviously standard standard stuff hopefully we can pick up that jamie vardy which would be good uh if not just be nice to upgrade probably quite a lot of the rest of the team to be honest i mean with eight points currently we could do we could do two golds and two silver rares so yeah we'll see how things go let's jump into uh let's jump into the game obviously we've got christian erickson on the bench uh we'll have to see what happens see what happens come on please please be a stinker please be a stinker for this game i beg Or, or not, or not. Oh, oh, oh. Fat Dong, okay. <laughs> well, we knew that, that was gonna happen, didn't we? We've seen that all too many times before. If you're wondering, eyes are red because of fucking hay fever, literally. The, the old saying, isn't it, that um, survived a f fucking pandemic and then I've been obliterated by hay fever. I just can't deal with it. Survived this long against coronavirus and then just gets murdered by hay fever. It's actually awful. Actually awful. I just can't deal with it. Just can't deal with it. Anyway, first team. I mean, I'm not sure that's any better than the previous team, but it's a good looking team. Either way, it's a very good looking team. Got some really nice players. Bale... Now, Gleesh, I'm going to get fucking ruined. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, once I give the ball away... That fucking sucks, doesn't it? That fucking sucks. <laughs> Good job. Let's go. All right. If we can just score a goal, you know, that's going to be a big result from this game, to be honest. Any kind of uh, any kind of goal or anything like that is, is huge. So... That's kind of just what I'm ha hoping for anyway. Cool. I, I literally can't. I can't, man. I can't. I recommend anybody try this. Maybe maybe you're a lot better thief players than I am, but like struggling. Real struggle. Just get past this team because he's just like, just, oh my God. They're just everywhere. They're just so quick. I just can't like deal with it. It's real tough. Real tough. I just can't. I just can't get past this. Dude's defence, obviously. I mean, like, what has he got? wan and someone else. I can't even remember who he had, to be honest. But it's just, it's a fucking nightmare. And he's just tracking back with literally anybody who's got any kind of pace. And just taking the ball off my players. It's just crazy. No. Fuck off. Go on. The Eddie. <laughs> like, <laughs> I wasted too much time there. I should have just taken the shot, man. Should have just taken the shot. Fuck. Oh, Hudson Adoy. Please. He's so slow, man. Eddie, no. Let's go. We got a penalty. Oh, this is big. Huge. Huge for the series. Come on. We have to score this. Who's taking it? Big boy Eddie. You know exactly what we're doing, don't you? Bang. Let's go. We got one against this guy. You love to see it. You love to see it. I knew there was a goal coming. I could feel it. And I just 
I knew I could score against this dude. Finally did. At least that's big. That's a good, uh, good few points in the bank. We don't really care what the result is now. So we are obviously going to try and win. It's kind of the whole point of the series. But oh, come on, Brian. But now I feel like this guy's going to go like to 12. Turn up the set into 12 to really try and make sure he doesn't lose. But you never know what could happen. Bang. To Eddie. He's through. No, wait. Hudson. Somebody. No, he's missed. I can't believe that. That fucking sucks, man. Uh, okay. I see. I don't want to jump for it. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, again, like I said, it doesn't matter. This guy's like fully like, oh my god, I'm beating a silver team. You know, kind of like fully just jacking himself off about it. But like, it is what it is, isn't it? Wow, oh, that was trash. Um, all right, so there we go. So result number, I mean, number three for the series, but result game number one. We do get a goal. Admittedly, it was a penalty, but it was deserved. We did make the chance. He took us out, so sucks to be sucks. Sucks to be him. Um, but yeah, so it's just it's just frustrating because I feel like if, uh, if the team in certain areas with the midfield was slightly better, just slightly better, I could easily have beaten that guy. Admittedly, the scoreline didn't say it, so maybe... Maybe that's not true, but I feel like I could. He just wasn't that good. And I, I'm quite happy that I made him work so hard to get a 5-1 victory. Admittedly, it was 2-0 for like a good 60% of the game. So that shows a lot. Either way, we do get a goal, which is always quite nice, I suppose, isn't it? One goal. Don't get assists because obviously it was a penalty. So just one goal, which is uh, which is just two points. So that's, you know, pretty much securing uh, Jamie Vardy at this point, which is very, very nice. You do love to see it. Yeah, I'm not upset about losing. I'm not upset about losing. It's going to happen at this point. Like I say, I recommend anybody try this. It's really good fun, to be fair. Um, admittedly, no one else seems to want to have any fun in this game because all the teams are coming up against. But it is that stage in FIFA where people are just playing with whatever, you know, players they like. Um, you know, there's no, there's no, like, requirement to play with a really bog-standard bitch-ass team. So, yeah, but I recommend anybody trying this, you know, like set yourself some goals, like some points to upgrade some players on. Uh, it doesn't have to, be, have to be extensive as I've done it. Obviously, I've done it for the content, but like still, it's, it's good fun. It's good fun. It's, tr it's challenge yourself anyway to play with t with players and teams you just wouldn't ever really touch. So, yeah, obviously I would touch Nketiah all the time, every day, especially at night. Let's see what happens. He does have Yuziki, you know, obviously that's festival foot card. It looks very, very nice. Um, even though he's Turkish, and then who did they get beat by? Turkey got beat by. Okay. Why? Eddie. Oh, Eddie's through. No, don't get tackled. Oh, what? Where is that lag coming from? There's so much space everywhere. Like I just don't understand it. Just don't understand it at all. Give over. Come on. How is that a la... My god, man. This is actually horrendous. I, I can't get anything going. Generally just can't. Twanzibi's fucking injured. Hudson Adoy, please get there. Fuck you. Jesus. Okay. Right. Well, I mean, uh, it, it's... What, what do you expect? What do you expect at this point? So, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, this guy scored an own goal at the beginning of the game. I don't know. Like, probably to be toxic or something. But it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. Um, at least we got some points for that, I guess. But holy shit, Smith Rowe, Kenny, please, let's go, Smith Rowe, getting us another goal on the score sheet. You do love to see that. Go on, Kent. Oh, I really wanted Eddie to get. I should have taken a shot, man. Fucking bottled it. That sucks. Go on, get that header. Go on. It spilled. It spilled and no way. Fuck. I mean, at least we get another corner, I suppose. But come on. Big head by somebody. Bang. Came off the post, I'm pretty sure, as well. Came off the post. Oh, that sucks. Oh, Eddie. Stop it, Eddie. Could... He literally just let go of the ball. An absolute idiot, man. Hmm. The one big challenge I'm finding is that I've got I can't really like turn with anybody. Um, this is this is the biggest issue I think I've found is that like trying to turn with these silvers is just 
basically now and impossible. Oh, come on. Like, they just don't have any dribbling at all. Um, that's, yeah, the, the biggest issue that I've got. Besides, obviously, they stink. Oh, Eddie's through. Can he? Bang one. Fuck. Oh, should have taken that a bit further if I could. I mean, I, I was fearful that if I'd taken it any further, it would have just been muscled off the ball. Because they were just so slow. Um, he had a good shot, though, to be fair. Shame it didn't go in the back of the net. Oh, go on. Kent, please. Kent, bang one. Oh. He, gets, he got taken out. Let's go. We got a pen. You love to see it. You love to see that. Right, come on. Big ups, Eddie. Big ups, Eddie. For the goal. Let's go, Eddie Nketiah. Bang it. I should have probably taken it with... Hmm. Should have probably taken it with whoever scored last, shouldn't I? I can't remember who it was, though. I can't remember who that was. Who scored? Maybe it was Eddie. I can't just remember who, who got our second goal of the game. Uh, I know the first goal was an own goal, but, like... Who scored our second? Bang. Eddie. No, wait, 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 wait. Finish it. Banger. Let's go. Yo, that could that could be a hat-trick. I actually don't know who scored um, the second goal. Yo, that's crazy. How have we suddenly, like, turned almost turned this game around? Oops. Oh, I just let him run on through, didn't I? Oh, I just let him do that. Fuck, man. I was so stupid as well. Eddie and Ketia. That would, have, that would have been a secured three goals for Eddie, but it is what it is. It's actually a really nice finish, to be fair. For once, he's actually finally skipping the fucking replay. Hey, you love to see it. Okay. Yo, what's going on, man? <laughs> what's going on? Eddie's through. Please. Oh, no. 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 Yes. Eddie, run. No. It's not the one. No. Fuck. <laughs> Ah, uh, so no, we could still have a hat trick though. I, I'm, I don't think it is. It might be though. Oh, it was Smith Rowe. Fuck. It was close though. It was close. We still got three big goals. I, I know the scoreline says four, but I'm only gonna, I, I'm only gonna count three because the first one was an own goal, so I don't, I don't know why you did it. Nor do I really care to be honest. Uh, so yeah, it is what it is. Three goals though, and three assists so that's pretty big that's big for points you know winning aside winning winning would have been really nice we were close we were like we were very marginally close we had two goals to go and then obviously it went to 7-4 and it just yeah we shat the bed again but um that's big though that's big massive massive game uh 8-4 what a game to be fair what a game he really i mean this guy he was he was good to be fair he was he was, he was nice he knew what he was doing obviously he was probably doing the objectives with the turkish players um but that yuziki was dangerous Really, really dangerous. Even though, with that said, I still think he had a really hard time getting past my defence. Uh, even though he did score eight, I know. But I think Tamori and Transibi did really, really well to um, to kind of hold off those those attackers. From this episode, we've earned 13 more points. Let me just quickly change that one to 21. You love to see it. So, the first purchase I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the store. Hmm. I could get Steven Gerrard and... But no, I'm going to pick up, first of all, I'm going to pick up uh, a Jamie Vardy. So we're going to take that off and we're going to put him straight into the team. Because I need I need a decent attacker, man. I need someone who can just get some pace. Just go on through and yeah, he's going to be the perfect option. Thankfully, he got rolled around in the uh, randomizer. So we'll take him and we'll put him straight into the team. So um, yeah, we, we need it, man. We need it. Eddie, Eddie Nketi is good, um, but he's just not, just not good enough. Not against like just base gold so he just doesn't uh just doesn't cut it so um put him away and then we'll get out our main man jamie fardy you do love to see it. a big big upgrade um for the team big big upgrade but obviously as you know for the rest of the for the rest of the positions for at least three anyway we randomize the wheel and it chooses what position we are going to upgrade so we don't get to just choose randomly 
Um, obviously, when I do have to store uh, the gold stuff and objectives that, uh, we, you know, we can then uh, start adding players that we want, really. It's kind of the idea of the store. It's just to add in players that we want to put in. Um, Yo, know, hold up. Hold up. Yeah, so we just put in players that we want. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. So, okay, so we are currently sat on... 12 points now obviously like i was mentioning the wheel does choose which three positions we are going to upgrade um obviously um whatever the wheel decides is what the wheel will decide so the first one is going to be oh we're going to get a new left winger or left mid not bad not bad could do with one even though kent's really good to be fair could be good to have someone like uh i don't know would barnes be better maybe right center back that's twanzibi isn't it because the left centre back is already to Mori. So right CB. Kind of sucks. I mean I kind of like Twan ZB to be honest. But the wheel has spoken. What are we saying? As long as it's not striker. Right wing. Hmm. Okay. Right winger. I have to see who we can get. Because I, I know. Um, depends. I might be able to pick up Sterling to be honest. He might be quite cheap. But um so we've got a left wing, right centre back, and right winger. So I'm going to go see if we can get, obviously, in, hopefully in the way of gold. And uh, yeah, I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, so I've gone away. And uh, like I said, I've picked up four players. So we obviously had 12 points to work with. I've gone out and picked up four rare golds. I think that could be the, uh, the just the smartest option. We could obviously just go for like, you know, like two like two SBC cards or something. But it just, I want the, the whole team to be improved than rather just select areas because... Uh, the midfield sucks, the attack kind of sucks, and the defense kind of sucks. But uh, obviously, what I've gone with is a bit of, bit of everything. So we've gone Raheem Sterling for an upgrade on the left wing. Obviously, that's what the wheel chose. Right wing is going to be Jaden Sancho, uh, which, have gone, uh, of course, was the wheel chose that for um, right wing. We obviously then have our right center back, which is now going to be upgraded or downgraded, whichever way you look at it, really, to uh, John Stones. Who I do think is a bit of a downgrade to Twanzibi. I mean, if you look at it, obviously, Stones is better defensively and, and physically and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, just I think that pace is really paramount. But we'll see how it goes. And then the last one is uh, uh, Madison in for Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe has been great, to be honest. Absolutely outstanding. Um, yeah, scored loads of goals. Four star, four star. Can't really ask much more than that. Obviously, he's four star, four star. So, maybe... Maybe a bit of a like for like, but um, the, the options were like Mason Mount, Phil Foden, um, Deli Ali. Um, who else was there? There was obviously Madison. I think that was it. But I think Madison's the best one, it, just for passing sense anyway. Um, he's just a lot better passer and his dribbling is quite nice as well. So he looks quite good. It looks quite good. But overall, the team is actually coming along very, very nicely. You do love to see that. We're still obviously working in our Euro Road to Gloria towards the objectives. Uh, I, it's probably going to take me forever to get that fucking wan because I can't see us winning a game. Hopefully, next episode, we can actually win a game because this team looks insanely good already. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to that. Either way, hopefully I've enjoyed this episode. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Having a lot of fun. Even though I'm getting beat pretty much every single game, um, it's actually really good fun. Really, really good fun. But there we go. There we go. Another episode of the Euro Road to Glory done. Hopefully, um, I, I can't say when the next episode will be, but I'm going to try and obviously do them at least a few times a week. I, I know the next England game is Friday, I do believe. So the next episode, or at least the next one, including an England result, which I'm hoping is going to be a huge dub with a few more than just one goal because we'll obviously, you know, upgrades and all that. But um, uh, yeah, that'll be Friday, so it'll come out on Saturday, but I should have one out before then. Either way, I uh, hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, do drop it a like. That'd be very, very much appreciated. If you've got any comments or any ways to improve this series, do let me know in the comment section below. I'm always trying to think of ideas to, to keep the series fresh and new ideas to implement into the series. And of course, if you've got any of your own, let me know in the comment section below. That'd be very much appreciated. But with that said, I do hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, we'll see you next time.